Hello everybody, in this Keyshot demo, I would like to walk you through a basic process for creating jewelry render. Okay, let's start. The first thing I want to do is to get the model which is imported from Rhino to be snapped correctly to the ground for correct shadow alignment. Okay, go into right mouse click, move model. And then go to advance, snap to ground. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is to assign the appropriate materials to the model. Okay, maybe polish gold for the metal parts. And then for the gemstone, let's use diamond. Okay, something like that. However, you notice that the render is kind of bland and the next thing I need to do is to set the correct uh, image setting. Okay, I go to use the photographic instead and then set it to the correct or the appropriate tone mapping that I want to use. Uh, maybe I try linear for tone mapping. And let's, let's set a new environment for illumination. And I reckon we should use something with a lot of light points so that it can enhance the beauty of the gemstone through its refraction. Maybe I will want to use this conference room environment which is um, downloaded from the cloud library. However, you notice that it's too colorful and it's like the reflections are overpowering the image so let's do a bit of tweaking to the HDR environment by maybe uh, setting the brightness saturation all down and also increase the blur value okay I increase the blur value to 5 so that the reflections are not like overpowering and now I need to transform the HDRI, maybe rotate and tilt it until the bright portions are not too overpowering. Okay, it might take a while. Basically what I'm doing is to move the overly bright areas away so that we can use pins to manually add the highlights and the bright areas ourselves. Okay, I added a pin and I want to move the pin in such a way that it can enhance the beauty of the gemstone. Okay, I'm moving it so that it's um, reflecting and refracting the gemstones. Maybe I want to add one more pin. But before that, uh, let's do a bit of tweaking. Okay, now add one more pin. Set to rectangular. The size, I need to change it to give it the correct length and orientation. I'm tweaking the X and Y value for the correct length and the uh, breath let's move the pin might take a while okay now uh, the next thing I want to do is add more pin but before that let's uh, set the lighting to the correct type in this case jewelry and uh, you can see now that the gemstones are shimmering much better. Okay, now let's add a pin to enhance the highlight. Okay, I added a gradient pin and I reckon I need to change the color of the stops. Maybe I'll set this to 
a dark color like black and the other one I set it to something like maybe white okay I might have to do quite a fair bit of fine tuning over here maybe this should be white instead sorry and this black or dark grey might take a while I set it to rectangular change the x and y value for the correct length and breadth moving the pin around to get the best highlight okay something like that okay now next thing I need to do is to work on the ground reflection and shadow okay I added a ground plane and let's edit the material and I'm going to enhance the reflection by setting the specular value to be something light okay and then bring up the reflection contrast as you can see we can see the reflection much better and I'm going to bring a roughness value so that it doesn't look too thick let me adjust the scene a bit Me something like that. Okay, we can go to a photographic and see whether we want to play with the exposure or any of the other settings. Let's start to do the rendering now that all these are done. Um, we want to use render passes so that we can do post-processing to enhance the render even further go to set this to PSD and then turn on the required passes okay click add to PSD and I'm going to add these passes the reflection, refraction, clown and caustics you can add others but I think we'll just use this for our demo Maybe you set it to a higher rest. And I'm going to click render. Okay. Let's wait for the rendering to complete itself. Okay, the image has been rendered and I brought it into an image editor. In this case here, Affinity Photo and I'm going to enhance the render further by working with the render passes. As you can see, we have the render passes over here and we have things like the clown pass, the refraction, reflection and the caustics, okay? And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange some of the layers. Let's bring the clown downwards and we're going to work with the other render passes to enhance the render as you can see over here uh, we are seeing the passes and I think I want to work with the refraction passes first and set this to something like screen and you can see that the gemstone area has been enhanced by doing so okay I'm going to do a duplicate to further um, enhance the gemstones uh, visual appeal and now let's work with another pass the reflection pass ok 
okay and I think we can again set either to lighten or screen let me just try lighten first seems like there, are, there is seems like there's no effect okay let's set it to screen yeah there are some effects when we use screen okay And now let's work with caustics okay the caustics are those uh, shimmering shimmering like conditions on the ground and I guess we can enhance this area further I'm gonna set it to screen you can see there are some enhancement very subtle Let's turn on the passes. You can see that with and without passes, there are differences. With the passes on, the render is much better, with the gemstone area being significantly enhanced. So, with that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.